still no formal bid from Chelsea, from Bayern, from any club. All these clubs are keeping an eye on the player. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we discuss on Romelu Lukaku situation. One more name for Manchester United and Luis Guillerme. Keep an eye on the talent. Let's jump into it together. <music> by uh, mentioning one of the best talents in South America now, there are many obviously, but Luis Guillermo is doing very good with Palmeiras, I told you that many clubs were in attendance to keep an eye on the boy in the semi-final of the Copa Libertadores against Boca, and among these clubs there were two for sure guaranteed, not just Manchester United, I told a couple of days ago, but also Bayern and Chelsea, that through both clubs are keeping an eye on Luis Guillermo, both Bayern and Chelsea are interested. At the moment, there is still no formal bid from Chelsea, from Bayern, from any club. All these clubs are keeping an eye on the player, keeping contacts to understand how much Palmeiras really want for Luis Guillerme. Could be similar to the Hendrik package, so a fixed fee with some adults. That's the idea of Palmeiras president, but in any case, a lot of interest in this boy. Chelsea will keep monitoring this boy, Luis Guillerme. On the side uh, of Bayern, they have decided to keep some of their scouts in South America to keep monitoring the boy and then decide whether they want to beat and try to sign him or not. So keep an eye on Luis Guillerme, who is doing excellent in this case in Serie A in Italy, is Romelu Lukaku on loan from Chelsea to Roma. Seven goals in seven games started as Roma player between Serie A and Europa League. But guys, what I wanted to tell you on Romelu Lukaku is an important information because from what I'm hearing, there is kind of close, it's not kind of close, but is uh, an exit agreement between Romelu Lukaku's camp and Chelsea for summer 2024. So there is already a fixed fee for Romelu Lukaku to leave Chelsea in summer 2024. This was part of the discussion they had in the recent times after he joined Roma, and Romelu Lukaku will be made available in summer 2024 for a fee around 37 million pounds. So any club can go there, decide to pay that fee. Chelsea have no intention to spend the whole summer negotiating again, as has happened this summer, with Inter, with Roma, and with other clubs for Romero Lukaku. They know that Lukaku will return next summer because there is no buy option in the contract with Roma, and so they decided to put that price on the player. So who wants to sign Lukaku now knows that they have to pay £37 million. No intention to discuss or to negotiate. Then, obviously, the final decision will be up to the player, but the fee is there, the exit fee for Romero Lukaku. And also, guys, on Manchester United, I wanted to update you because it was an important story I told you here on the channel two weeks ago. Now we see it everywhere, but I told you, May United want to sign a new important centre-back in 2024. I mentioned to you some names, Todibo for sure, Gonzalo uh, Inacio is the new name that I will add for today, but also Tapsoba, and I told you Antonio Silva from Benfica. Super appreciated. But Manchester United added one more name to their list. They are sending their scouts to Portugal, not just for Antonio Silva, but also for Gonzalo Inacio. So what Manchester United are doing is to keep an eye on some defenders they really appreciate with the scouting department. Then there will be time in the next months to decide with Eric Ten Hag and with people into the club who is the right player for them, how much they want to spend, what kind of player they want. These are very different players. For example, Tapsoba is more physical, Todibo is more physical, Antonio Silva is more kind of fast centre-back, Gonzalo Inacio is left-footed, so completely different kind of centre-back. They are keeping an eye on some players, and in the scouting list there is also Gonzalo Inacio. He's been in the list at Newcastle, also at Liverpool for a long time in the recent years, but still staying at Sporting. And we know that Sporting extended his contract in the summer, but Manchester United are going to keep an eye also on Gonzalo Inacio. So, very talented centre-back, one to watch for sure in the next months, also for my United. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from uh, Gonzalo Inacio uh, and Manchester United to the situation of Romelu Lukaku, Luis Guillermo, I wait for you in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. With Fabrizio. Ciao.